know what that noise is, but it's a noise. You can have it for free. This is, if you hadn't have guessed it, Liberty Whispers, aka the ASMR community's laziest and most sporadic maker of videos. Yes, it's about the five, six week mark since my last one, so here's another one. Um, <laughs> I do wish I was making videos more regularly, but it's like a ultra combo of laziness and busyness, which are constantly like fighting against each other. That means that I don't get to do as many videos as I want. Um, plus just time, there is not enough time to be both lazy and busy simultaneously, so you are all in my thoughts, and um, even though I'm a little less active and a little quieter than usual, um, I'm still about on Facebook and stuff, and still kind of bothering about doing different things, and um, I just started working on my first short film, um, so that is one of the reasons why I'm, I'm busy, um, but I won't go into detail about that if you want to know more about that um then you know or you just want to know more in, about anything really or just want to say hi um you can find me on facebook i'll put a link in the description for this video but this is a tag video 50 goofy questions um in which i was tagged by the wonderful wonderful you are a river aka the river whisper or is it the other way around is it the river whisper aka you are a river i don't know whichever moniker or alias she is going by in primary fashion um she's awesome uh, she's pretty new to the asmr whisper community and she has already established herself as awesome at doing the, the whole whisper asmr stuff and just a awesome person, so you should definitely go check her channel out, and I will put a link to that in the description box as well. So go do that if you're looking for another new channel of awesomeness to fill your dashboard with great, great stuff. Uh, anyway, so this is 50 Goofy Questions. I have them here in front of me. Um, I know doing a tag video is kind of a lazy video. Um, in comparison to how much other people do um, but you know it's a video from me and you know it'll last you for the next five six weeks <laughs> however long it takes me to do another one hopefully it won't be that long but anyway um it's a video nonetheless and i hope that you get some enjoyment out of it so also i'm gonna tag some people to do this um i don't know who yet because I haven't thought that far ahead, I'm not that much of a planner, but I will attach at the end of this um, a little rambly outro, I guess, of sorts, uh, saying who I've tagged, I'll also put it in the description box as well. My goodness, that's going to be a full description box, but plenty of good stuff for you to check out nonetheless. So anyway, on with the tag questions. Question number one, what time did you get up this morning? Uh, well, technically I didn't get up this morning. I am still on nights, unfortunately. Um, I don't think that's going to be for very long, um, as we are in the midst of training someone to do nights. And hopefully they will be up to speed pretty soon. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's just a couple more weeks left. Um, so I woke up actually this afternoon at three o'clock in the afternoon, um, which is a little bit disorientating even now after doing nights for so long, because um, kind of like half the average everyday person's day is done and mine's just beginning. Strange sensation. Anyway, three o'clock in the afternoon. Question number two, how do you like your steak? Um, medium, um, which is kind of unusual because I'm not very much a medium person I either commit to one side or the other so you know I would personality wise would probably if I didn't know me or I knew someone like me would probably predict or presume that they would like their steak either really rare or really well done but I kind of like it in the middle um yeah so there's a what 
was the last film you saw at the cinema? That was question number three. How strange that you ask, because I just came back from the cinema roughly about an hour or two ago, um, and I saw Kick-Ass 2, um, which I actually really liked. I know that it's not got the best of reviews um, over the last couple of days, um, but I actually liked it. I actually think it might be more preferable than the first one, which I liked a lot. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that, but I have been watching a ton of films lately, and that was the last one I actually saw at the cinema. Uh, before that, I saw The Lone Ranger, which was so-so. Some good bits, some problems, um, but not as bad as I was expecting. So I've expanded on that question and told you the last two films, so there you go, it's a twofer. Uh, number four. Oh, come on, man. What is your favourite TV show of all time? How am I meant to answer that? That is Sophie's Choice Territory. I, you know... Okay, it's kind of between two. I would say, at the minute, the one that is... Probably my favourite. At the moment, but this could all change, depending on how the other one works out. Uh, is The Wire. I love The Wire. I am a huge fan of a lot of HBO dramas. But The Wire just does some amazing things in terms of storytelling. And it's got so many memorable characters and so many twists and just such a... It's a bit of a slow burner and the pacing might knock some people off, but... The fact that it takes its time means that it can cover so much more ground and oh my goodness that show just does so many things right and it's it's near to perfect as a tv show can get but for me its top spot is in quite serious jeopardy with breaking bad which again takes its time initially and it takes a little while to build up but when it does and everything comes loose and all the hinges break off and oh man, just that, that show is just fantastic on so many levels in terms of storytelling again memorable characters, it's got comedy, it's got drama it's got real emotional moments, it's really dark in places there's so much foreshadowing in its storytelling and visually it, it just little nuances just oh my goodness uh, it's just starting up again. It's got like seven more episodes before the show finishes. And yeah, it's really giving The Wire a, a run for its money in terms of sort of becoming my favourite TV show of all time and possibly the best TV show ever made. Question number five. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Oh, that's a tough question because there's lots of places that I would actually not just like to visit, but actually like to live. Um, but I would probably say New York in terms of living because it is the only place that I've ever visited where I've actually felt at home. Everywhere else that I've visited has been lovely and it's been a wonderful experience and it's been great to see these places. But there was like, um, I don't know, like a real uh, intangible sense of belonging when I visited New York and it's one place that I often think about. Uh, from time to time and kind of miss so yeah that's what probably be the answer to that question um number six what did you have for breakfast uh well considering i didn't really get up at breakfast time i kind of have skipped that meal and um i went straight to like a late lunch slash early dinner which was pretty straightforward and it was just like a chicken and bacon sandwich, so. Number seven. What is your favourite cuisine? Uh, does that mean like favourite dish, favourite meal, or like favourite type of food? Um, because I don't know. I'm quite partial to Italian food, if that's what it means, so. I think so. I think that's what it's referring to. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we'll just go with that. We'll go with Italian food. Because that is rather lovely. Although I am kind of finicky with food. And I'm not really um, into... I'm not a foodie. I'm really not food. To me, it's just fuel, essentially. Don't get me wrong. You get 
some bits of fuel which taste much nicer than others and what have you but I am not I'm not into food porn as it were <laughs> I'm not somebody that really cares for fancy foods and restaurants and, and uh, exotic and uh, mysterious dinners and meals and ingredients it's just like if it tastes nice that's cool if it doesn't then you know I just won't eat it that's pretty much my stance on it um I don't know, maybe I'm a Philistine for that, who knows. Okay, so next question is... What foods do you dislike? Um, straight away the first thing that comes to my mind is mushrooms. Um, I don't know why, I just get really icky around mushrooms. They're just like, ugh, no thank you. Um, just the taste and the texture of them is a bit, ugh. Um, God, there's a number of things that I don't particularly like. Um, oh, what's that? A uh, white rubbery vegetable. Um, cauliflower. Oh, my goodness. Yuck. Um, that is just nasty. And why that is a natural thing, I don't know. It's unnatural. It's like Satan's vegetable. If he had any interest in vegetables, which he might do, who knows, you know. Satan's always built as just this one-dimensional, oh, I'm evil, I do bad things, but he, he's probably got a lot more depth to him than that, and he probably cultivated cauliflower on a particularly evil day. I don't know, I'm going totally off track. Um, next question. Uh, number nine, favourite place to eat. I don't actually have any particular favourite places. I don't have any particular favourite restaurants. There's been restaurants I like. There's no particular chain places. I would say the comfort of my own home. Something nice to eat in my own home. That is awesome. Especially with good company. So there you go. Because then you don't have to deal with like all the douchebags that go to the restaurants. <laughs> um, that's your antisocial statement for the, for the week. Enjoy it. Uh, favourite dressing? I'm guessing that means like food dressing. God, there's a lot of food questions here. Oh, um, it's a toss up between mayonnaise and barbecue sauce. In one of my old student houses, we used to use barbecue sauce as like a currency. Like, um, you could do a, a favor for somebody in exchange for some barbecue sauce. Um, yeah, it became like an in house currency. It's crazy. But, you know, it was a good barter system. Um, uh, d -d 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 let me see, number 11, what kind of vehicle do you drive? I drive um, currently my mum's car, which is a Volkswagen Polo, which is good, it's a really nice car, really quiet, easy to drive. The only problem is, in the past I've driven smaller cars, um, because they're easier to park. I hate parking, I'm terrible at parking. I hate it, it is my sort of nemesis, and the car that she has is kind of hard to park, because it's like, it's got like a big booty, it's got like a big backside, and um, it can be kind of hard to park with it, so yeah, that's the only downfall to it, but the rest of it is a wonderful car, nice little car, well, not so little, but nice car, anyway, number 12, what are your favourite clothes, oh goodness, um, my favourite item of clothing is probably, um, Sonic Youth to a t-shirt and a black hoodie. That's pretty much it. I would say, I mean, there's plenty of other bits of clothes that I like, but those are probably my, um, most beloved and favourited things of clothing. Uh, where would you visit if you had the chance? Uh, Tokyo. Always wanted to go. Hopefully, we'll get to go one day. One day soon. Maybe on my adventure. Uh, question number 14. Cup half empty or half full? A little bit of both. Um, it depends what mood I'm in. I mean, generally... Generally, uh, me as a, as a person would probably say uh, half full. Because I am 
usually in general more optimistic but um, at the end of the day I am a human being and I do have days where it's uh, half empty and on its way to being completely empty but as a general rule and as a um, extract of me I guess it would definitely be um, half full. Number 15 where would you want to retire? Oh, um, I've always kind of fancied living in the French countryside when I'm older. I don't know why I like the south of France. Um, but that might change. I don't know, but I've always kind of found that a little bit idyllic. Um, yeah, because it's nice and serene and it's, it's not too hot, not too cold. It seems like a nice place. Favourite time of day? Uh, the night, because that's when I go prowling in the streets and taking down criminals in my vigilante costume. Uh, no, I am more of a night owl. Um, just in general, uh, not just because I work nights, but just, I've always kind of been more uh, orientated towards uh, night time, so yeah. Plus, you know, you get to see uh, the night sky with all its twinkly stars and it's just nice, I don't know. There's something peaceful about it. Um, number 17, where were you born? In a hospital. Ha 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 ha. In Carlisle, in the UK, where I live currently. Uh, number 18, what is your favourite sport to watch? I'm not really into sports, to be honest. Um, the only real sports I've ever watched. I used to watch football or soccer, as transatlantic cousins might call it. But that was years ago. Um, other sports that I've liked to watch: um, uh, basketball and uh, wrestling. Sometimes, sometimes I will watch wrestling. It is basically like soap operas for grown men, but with violence and. Um, outrageous stuff, so sometimes it's quite good. Who do you think will not take you back? I don't know, because I don't know who I'm taking yet, so I can't really answer that. Uh, same goes with number 20, person you expect to take you back first. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who I'm taking yet. So, you know, stop being so presumptuous questions. Stop presuming that I've already made a list, because clearly you don't know me questions. I'm not that organised. Look, I only do videos every six weeks. I'm not that organised. You should know this. Anyway, I know why I'm rambling at a set of questions. It's not their fault. It's no one's fault, really. Except my own. Uh, number 21. Who are you curious about their responses to this? Uh, again. Can't really answer that at the minute. Um, number 22. Birdwatcher. What does that... Like, hanging out with binoculars. See, in, in Britain... Bird is like, and I hate this, I hate it. Bird is like a slang word or an alternative word for girl, woman, lady. So, you know, bird watcher kind of makes, if I say yes, it makes me sound like a peeping Tom. Um, which I'm not. Um, <laughs> but no, I mean, if a bird's by the window and I'm sat near the window, I might watch it for a moment or two, but, you know, I don't go climbing trees with night vision goggles or binoculars or have a telescope peering out my window. Number 23, are you a morning person or a night person? Well, I pretty much already answered that. It's a night person, because all crazy things happen at night. Uh, 24, do you have any pets? I don't. When I was younger, when I was a little boy, I used to have a cat, a tabby cat called Pixie, but it ran away. And I've never had a pet since. Um, not because I've been emotionally scarred by my cat's departure, but just because, um, I don't know. I just haven't. Uh, a lot of the houses I lived at when I was away at university wouldn't allow pets. And I moved a lot anyway, so it wouldn't really be fair. Plus, I shared houses with other people, so... Um, I don't think it would have been awfully fair on either the people I lived with or the bed itself, really. If, like, because I've always wanted a dog. And I will have a dog one day. Just... Not yet, I guess. Uh, number 
25, any new and exciting news you'd like to share? I got a parcel today. It was the um, debut album from Father John Misty, who used to be the drummer in Fleet Foxes, but has turned into uh, a solo artist. Um, and he started his recorded other stuff under his real name, but this is the first record he's recorded under the name Father John Misty, and it's called Fear Fun, and it's amazing. Um, and that came in the post today, so yeah, you should probably go listen to some Father John Misty, it's cool. Uh, number 27, what is your best childhood memory? Oh jeez. Um, probably a birthday party I had, I don't know how old I was, but I just remember it being really nice. I woke up in the morning and there was like balloons at the bottom of my stairs, and I just remember just it being a moment of absolute sheer happiness. And just the rest of the day was really cool. Um, yeah. Uh, number 28, cat or a dog person? Uh, I like both. I never really used to like cats, but um, now I kind of like kitties. But dogs are cool as well, so, you know, I can, I can chill with either me and cats. And dogs are both cool. Number 29, are you married? I'm not. A lot of people my age are and already have children, and that's cool for them, but not for me, because that's not what I want at the moment. You know, maybe at some point in the future, but, you know, um, all that shenanigans isn't uh, in my plans at the moment. Not right now, anyway. Number 30, always wear your seatbelt. Uh, yeah, because... One, it keeps me safe, and two, if I don't put my seatbelt on the car, it makes a really annoying pinging noise. Like, bang, 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 and it's like, yeah, I know. I know I've not got my seatbelt on, but, you know, whatever. I'm going to put it on now, because she won't shut up. Anyway, number 32. I've been in a car accident. Yes, I have been in two. Unfortunately, um, one, I didn't get injured. The second one, I got, um hit on the driver's side and had it been a few inches further in uh, it would have gone right through the door and quite possibly have killed me or severely severely injured me but it sort of hit the axle of the, the, the wheel on the driver's side but it caused me to smash my head off the steering wheel knocked me unconscious and um, gave me a concussion Number 32, any pet peeves? Oh yeah, but like, way too many to mention. Number 33, favourite pizza toppings? Um, I'm a meat kind of guy, so like pepperoni or like a meat feast, or just generally meats. <laughs> All about the meats. Uh, favourite flower is number 34. Um, can't say that I have a favourite flower really go around smelling and looking at flowers an awful lot, you know, they're nice. I've ever really contemplated if I have a favourite one. Um, 35, favourite ice cream, oh goodness, oh, just ice cream in general, can I say that? I just love ice cream in general. Um, but I do like vanilla, I know that's probably like really boring or whatever, but um, I think vanilla's got a lovely taste to it, so in your face, if you're not liking vanilla, in your face. A uh, favourite fast food restaurant, I don't do them, don't particularly like them, can't say I've got a favourite. 37, how many times did you fail your driver's test? Um, just the once. Actually, yes, no, it was just the once, the actual practical driving test, yeah. I failed my theory twice, I failed my actual practical driving test once. Uh, but on my second go, I went the exact same route as I did the first time, so I knew exactly what I did wrong and, and didn't do it wrong the second time, so yay for me. Um, from who did you get your last email? It was for one of the uh, music blogs that I write for, and it was regarding a review, uh, somebody wanting something reviewed, um, so yeah bit of business, but, you know, that's what it is, I guess. 39, which store would you choose to max out your credit card? Uh, basically something like HMV, which sells, like, DVDs and Blu-rays and tech and 